No, I don't waste no time So guys, welcome back to the last module or last video of the Watch Me Build a Facebook campaign to drive traffic to our Facebook group. So if you have been following along with these videos, um, you will have seen and learned that we are slowly moving away from the, you know, the outdated webinar funnels and so on and so forth. And we are now basically growing communities and Facebook groups um, and because, you know, obviously it's much more profitable, you know, having a community around you, having a Facebook group, you know, there's a lot of money to be made there. Um, and for that, we are now driving traffic to a lead magnet. So we've created our own landing page, which uh, you can see here. So in video two, we created this landing page. I'll show you guys how to set up all the tracking as well. Um, the button is being tracked as well. You know, if you click on this, you basically get redirected to our Facebook group. And we have set up the campaign with the conversion objective optimized for lead. Um, so if you have been following along, it is now time to set up the advertisements and then we'll basically go through it all from start to finish what we set up for the images. We are just going to be using existing images just because it's quicker, you know, just for the sake of this video. Um, so what we'll do is we will go with, if we should click on download here, deselect all of them. We will then go with image eight, image nine, and then we'll do, what else should we do? Image two, download those. Just wait for that to download. So yeah, the campaign we set up, the audience we set up, we are going to be targeting in the UK. People between the ages of 25 and 50. Okay, that is done. Now it's time to set up the advertisements. Okay, so image one, copy one. Um, single image or video, that's fine. Why? Just because I've noticed that single images, especially the top of the funnel, work better than carousels and so on and so forth. And then image versus video. Uh, lately for me, images have just been working much, much better. That is why we've gone for images in this case. Okay, so we have not got an Instagram, so that's fine. Add media, add image, upload. And there we go, there are images here. Image two. Wait for that to load, processing. In the meantime, I'll just click out of all of these tabs just to keep things nice and organized. We don't need the events manager either. Um, Facebook group can go for now. And either way, we're going to set things up just to show you guys we'll have one campaign on CBO. We'll have one audience, which as I mentioned, receiving a response from the server, we recommend that you, okay, that's fine. In the meantime, I'll just quickly go here, refresh this page. And there we go, that's loaded. Must be in a connection with the loss of connection with the internet there. Image eight, uploading that as well. And then lastly, we've got image nine. There we go. So like I said, CBO, one campaign, one audience, which is UK, uh, both males and females between the age of 25 and 50. And then what we'll do is we'll have three images with the same copy. So image one, image two, and image three all with the same copy and then all obviously directing to the landing page. And then basically, you know, we're going to see which one of the three is generating us the most leads and also which one has the highest outbound click for rate. Okay, so now I have our three images. I'll just select image two for now. We want to keep this all original. Why? Because if you do the recommended, the text will basically go. So just keep it all original. And then this is basically a new part of Facebook where Facebook will actually optimize your images based on how people are most likely to respond to them. So as you can see here, these optimizations will automatically adjust your creative when likely to improve performance. So as you can see here, it will improve the brightness and contrast of an image 
but also vary the aspect ratio if Facebook thinks that will you know, basically generate us more leads. So that is fine. Allow the enhancements. And then we need our primary text. So as you can see here, the primary text will show up at the top. So what we need to do is think of a text that promotes our landing page, our playbook, as well as our Facebook group. So what we can say is something like, I like to use things like um, this one secret or instantly do this or discover X, Y, Z or um, learn how to do X, Y, Z, do X, Y, Z without X, Y, Z and so on and so forth. So things like that uh, work really well for me. So we can say something like instantly, uh, I'm just gonna quickly see what I've actually written down here. The process that every prospect needs to go through before becoming a client, the one thing that we should leverage to grow our agency, a little known secret that will allow you to get a massive return on your clients ad spend and defeat your competition. Okay. Um, okay, so what we'll say is we'll say instantly boost your um, ad results for your clients with clients with um, this secret strategy. Um, finish off with the call to action just quickly while I'm thinking click here find out how you can keep your clients from for longer not keep your clients for longer with um, instantly boost your ad results for your clients with this secret strategy. Find out how you can keep your clients for longer and for X your monthly recurring revenue using the tips explained in our free agency scaling fast track playbook okay so the challenge here obviously copywriting is not my strong suit so that is obviously a challenge in itself but the challenge here is to stay in compliance with facebook's advertising policies so notice the way i said for x your mrr rather than saying generate an extra six figures or generate a thousand extra dollars a month etc for extra MRR, that could be anything. You know, if your monthly recurring revenue is one dollar and you four X, that's five. You know, four dollars. You know, it's it's it doesn't necessarily imply that you're going to be making a lot of money from this, if that makes sense. Um, so that way, we are compliant with Facebook policies. Instantly boost your ad results for your client with the secret strategy. Again, ad results. We're not ad results means more sales, more money, but we're not actually saying that, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm taking a bit longer to write this out because I'm also thinking of Facebook's com uh, compliance you know, rules and regulations. Um, so again, we don't, we don't want to say earn more money, etc. We need to focus on get results. Um, if, if you want to separate yourself from the crowd what do we say we said we mentioned something about competitors a little known secret concept that will allow you to get a massive return on your clients ad spend and defeat your competition so if you want to defeat your competition now we'll stick okay so if you want to separate yourself from the crowd and experience real agency growth again i'm not mentioning anything monetary not financially experience real agency growth um tell you what this changes around 
experience real growth within your agency, then for a limited time only, scarcity obviously, um, you then for limited time only you can download our agency scaling fast track playbook for free. Instantly boost your ad results for your clients with the secret strategy. Find out how you can keep your clients for longer and 4x your monthly recurring revenue using the tips explained in our free agency scaling fast track playbook. If you want to separate yourself from the crowd and experience real growth within your agency, then for a limited time only, you can download our agency scaling fast track playbook for free. Um, and then what we can also say is this for a limited time only we are no because let me say a limited time only twice say what if you want to separate yourself from the crowd and experience real growth within your agency then for a limited time only we are we are giving away our 57 page playbook to all the members of our AC Scaling Fast Track Facebook group. Join the Facebook group and receive our copy for free. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, so that is the copy. Then we have our image. And then of course we need the URL. Make sure, obviously, this is just for educational purposes only and that's not actually uh, an actual URL. Um, if you click on it, it will go to this page, of course, but it's not, the domain's not verified or nothing like that with Facebook. Um, again, I'll refer to the iOS 14 video if you want to know more about that. But uh, this is just quick, you know, for example, purposes only. Um, so we've got the URL. Now we need a headline. This secret strategy allowed us how do you spell allowed? Is that how you spell allowed? Let me just triple check that. Allowed, yeah, okay. It looks weird. Okay, so this secret strategy allowed us to 4X our agency's multi recurring revenue. Okay, and then we can add another option as well as download our free agency scaling playbook okay um yeah okay so that is that is image one copy one like i said we'll be sticking with the same copy but what we'll be doing is adding more images so we'll duplicate image one copy one and then we'll call this image two copy one and then all we need to do is replace the image with image number eight which is in this case image two Okay, and then quickly duplicate it again. And this is image three, copy one. Remove that, add image, image nine, which in this case will be image three. Okay, so all of these exclamation marks, like I said, is for a couple of reasons. Number one, the pixel that we've selected is not the same as the pixel. So the pixel attached to this ad account is not the same as the pixel we've selected because it's just my backup ad account. Um, and the domain is not verified with Facebook because it's just a ClickFunnels domain. Okay, so if you want to remove these um, exclamation marks, you will need to verify your domain with Facebook, obviously verify your business manager as well, set up the events they want to optimize for, and make sure that you prioritize the events that you're using. So in this case, we are optimizing for lead. So make sure you prioritize leads as your highest priority event. More information on that, as I mentioned, is uh, you know it's part of our programs. It's in the Facebook group, and I've also done a video on that on YouTube, which I will link in the description. Or I'll link it in the comments. It'll be easier to just link it in the comments. But this is basically it, guys. This is how we've set it up. So one campaign one ad set and then we've got the three images image one image two and image three all with the same copy and as i mentioned before the audience is broad 
because the copy will do the qualifying for us. So people will see this. Obviously, if you're not interested in scaling your agency or not like that, you're not going to click for the agency scaling playbook, right? So over time, Facebook will know who is most likely to click on this, who is most likely to optimize for, or who's most likely to become a lead because Facebook are optimizing for a lead, okay? So that is why we've gone with a broad audience in this case, but this is basically it, guys. This is how I've done it. So we've got our landing page. If you click on it, you'll basically be sent through to the Facebook group. We've got our ad set up, and this is basically you know the end of our strategy and the end of the Watch Me Build um, campaign. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave the video with a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, if you have a similar structure or if you've set it up for yourself just with your experiences with it, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.